everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am very excited to be showing you my brow tutorial, and I'm really excited to introduce to you some very budget-friendly products that do just as well as the higher end products. I will list all products down in the description box below. If you wanna see how I achieved my perfect brow, keep on watching. Hi everybody, Linda here again. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you budget friendly brows, which is why this brow looks totally fabulous and this one looks a little sad. I am going to be showing you firsthand how to do it. In hopes of keeping this video a little shorter than my last one, I thought it would just be best to go ahead and just do one brow on camera. So, I know there are tons of products out there that are higher end, but there also are so many amazing products that fall a little bit on the lower end as far as cost. I have been using these few products, and I have actually fallen in love with my little brow routine that I have. I'm almost scared to switch it. In the winter time, in the fall, switch it up just a little bit with my brow routine. I like a little bit more fuller, fluffier of a look, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you in today's tutorial. First, pin my hair back a little bit. I don't know where you guys are. It is a beautiful day here in Maryland, but it is so cold outside. So freaking cold outside. I'm gonna start by brushing my brow hairs upward, taking the inner part of my brow and bringing it up a little bit more with the very tip of my spoolie. This is just a mascara spoolie. You can get these really anywhere. I'm going to actually use this next product for the start of my brow and to finish off my brow. So this is the most amazing product I think I have ever purchased from NYX. This is the Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is really, really, really an incredible product. Now that I've already done the spoolie process of getting my eyebrows kind of the shape that I want, I'm going to take the brow gel and I'm going to lightly, not heavily, because you are going to be putting product over this. And if you go too heavy with it, the product is going to clump and not look cute, which is what we're going for here. I started off right here in the front of my brow, almost with the whole section of the spoolie brush, brushing the hair upward. That is something else that I learned. I used to be really guilty of brushing my hair like backwards like this. Don't do that, girl, okay? You have to brush it up, brush it up. And then as I get to like the arch of my brow, I take the tip of the spoolie brush and I start really pulling up those teenier hairs. You can see the girls are standing at attention. That would be my boobs. I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush. I don't even like a flat skinny brush. Some people use an angled brush. Some people use a pointed eyeliner brush. For me personally, this really has stepped up my brow game. So you can really use whatever brow brush you are comfortable with. I do really recommend a tiny flat brush if you get one. I'm supposed to be following my directions. Don't reinvent the wheel. This next product that I'm going to talk about is Makeup Revolution. Girl, I was watching a Manny MUA makeup tutorial and I think it was him that was using this. This is in the color Blonde. It is a brow pomade. I have used and loved the hell out of this. Girl, let me tell you what. This is such an amazing brow product. This stays in place. It doesn't mess around. It manipulates really well as you're sweeping it across the brow. Um, it works really well once you put a gel on top of it. It doesn't move really well with the, the NYX Brow Setting Gel. But this is just such a good product. I really do love it. It is a really strong dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. Um, which I have used and I love. Again, super iconic. But this is like maybe eight bucks. I could be wrong. I'll list the, you know, I'll list the products in the description box below. But however, you need to get this. I swear it's such a game changer. I'm going to take that flat brush. It's not wet or anything. And I'm just going to, you know, get a little, pick up a little product. I'm saying a little and here I am. <laughs> Five hours later, still picking up product. This has an amazing pigment. Um, and this is again in the color blondes. So I've never done my brows on camera before. So forgive me, we're on this journey together. I'm gonna make mistakes, but that's okay. 
let's hop into it. Really start kind of like, I don't know, like little, like a quarter of an inch, maybe a little less from the outside of my brow. I guess this would be considered inside. This would be considered outside. I know what I'm talking about. Trying to follow that line from where, let me lock this shit in place. Lock that shit in place so the sunlight don't mess me up. And then I start to work my way down towards the inner part of my brow. Now I drew it a little longer than where my brows end. Okay, so now that I have done that, I have the bottom part really nicely done. I'm gonna go with just a smidge more product, not a lot teensy weensy a little bit and now I'm going to start filling in the top part of the brow. I know you see a lot of people taking like their spoolie brushes and brushing their hairs down, filling it in and then brushing it back up. The, the great thing and the fun thing about makeup is you get to be creative, right? So you can do whatever you want. This is just how I prefer to do my brows and I, I do get a lot of questions as to how I get my shape and my fullness and all that stuff. Oh my God, my hair. Last time it was my shirt. This time it's my hair. And I'm just gonna literally go right in there where I swept those hairs upwards. Notice how I started my brow more towards the inner part of my brow as opposed to the bottom part. I started a little bit further back. I did start this one a little further in. Outer corner of your lip, that's where that, that art should really line up for symmetric purposes. Turn your head a little bit so you can kind of see where you're drawing. And now I'm gonna draw that line outward a little bit more past where my eyebrow hair actually starts. Another thing I used to do before I started really paying attention how to draw an eyebrow is I would also start my eyebrows back where they naturally started. My eyebrow hair start kind of far back. You can actually see it in my thumbnail photo, um, my eyebrows a, look a lot thinner because it was a springtime, summertime photo, but they also started like way back and there was a huge gap. And I've just kind of realized that that's not the most super attractive look anymore. I started overdrawing them. So there is the shape of our brow. It's really important when you're doing your brows to sit a little further back and try and look at both brows at the same time. I know that's hard. You're gonna focus your attention and your eye obviously on the brow that you're, you're, you're doing, but Every once in a while, you know, take a look at both and just make sure that they are matching up, like the arch is matching up. Our faces are not completely symmetrical on their own. They're very different. So getting your arches to match while still following that rule of thumb of getting your arch in the outer corner of your lip to match up can be a little challenging sometimes. So now I'm gonna go in with product and start filling in that brow. This brow product is so amazing. You see how it's just like filling in the areas, like literally like a magic marker. It's it's just such a fun product to work with. Don't you just, oh, oh, when you find something and it's not like bank breaking, you stick with it, girl, stick with it. However, if Anastasia or Tarte wanna send me free products, not gonna complain. That tail end of your brow, you want that to be the darkest part of your brow. And then as you get further towards that inner part of the brow, you wanna start feathering it and making it lighter. I, since I have loaded the brush to fill up the tail end of my brow, I'm not adding any more product. I'm not taking the product that is currently on the brow as I'm moving towards the inner part and I'm feathering the product upwards. Again, keeping that shape of the brow that we did in the very beginning. Um, we use the brow gel to get those hairs to stand up. Remember, up, 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 up. Always go up. So again, keeping in mind what I said, that overdrawing of the brow. Now I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna turn it on its side like this, and I am going to start lightly feathering out some faux hairs. Not a lot. It's really important that you lighten up on the pressure of your brush when you get to this point, because something else I used to be guilty of doing is drawing that very square brow. You now I look back on some of my pictures, even from just a few short months ago, and I'm like, Okay, I think that looks really pretty. Really pretty. My eyebrows are pretty. Let me tell you what, girl. 
Mm. You no, know, everybody's like, wait a minute. I thought like the big thing was like to carve out your bras. Your bras. Oh, don't carve out your bras. The big thing was like to like carve out your, your brows and stuff. And I'm going to. Don't you worry, girl. The fun isn't over yet. I mean, I feel like it looks pretty damn good. I'm going to take that brow gel and I'm going to sweep the brows upward. I, you know, still try to keep it looking natural. And that is the thing I do love about this um, brow product. You know, I hate to compare it to like glue, but you know those like kids like Elmer glue um, sticks and um, you know, they're like purple and then they dry down and they're totally clear. So you will see some product from this product as you're laying it down, but it goes away. It dries beautifully, I promise. I'm going to take a product that I talked about with you guys in my other video. It is that Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And I'm going to take another flat brush. I'm just going to put some product on that flat part of the brush. And since I did that other brow off camera to kind of save time, um, I am trying very hard to keep it symmetric. Make it really archy. Hmm? I don't even know if that's a word, but maybe we'll make it one. Archy! All right, so now I am going to take another Morphe brush. This is a bigger flat brush. Look, I'm literally just sweeping it. I'm not going crazy with it because now we're going to the top of the brow. We're going to start in the inner part of the brow and just sweep it. Going down the outside. And you can turn your head as you need to see it. I am going to take a Morphe JH41 brush. And I'm just going to dip into a just Ulta brand shimmery white. And just going to highlight that brow bone. Then just for shits and giggles, and you know I love a good highlight, I am going to go in with my Morphe highlighting palette. This is Star Blazer palette. And I'm going to take that shimmery white over here and just run my brush in it very lightly because this has a little bit of like, I don't know if you can see that, there's definitely a little bit of like a pink hue to it. I try to focus that really primarily on that arch. Now I'm gonna go just touch up a little bit of my eyeshadow and my bronzer and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished brow. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I will list all of the products that I use in today's video in the description box down below. One of the number one beauty tips that I would really like to give you is start with your opposite eye. I know that sounds a little bit like, you know, what the hell. For instance, if you're not totally comfortable with doing your makeup or, or you're trying very hard to get the, you know, symmetrics of everything down, my recommendation is to start with the eyebrow or the eyelid um, or the side of your face that you are most uncomfortable with. So for me, because I'm a righty, my instinct is always to go with my right side first. I, that's my first instinct. However, start with the opposite side of your face because once you start with the opposite side of your face, the look that you want to achieve, it's much easier to then go to the side of your face that you're most comfortable with and that you're used to starting with and getting it to match symmetrically. I hope that you guys enjoyed my videos. I took my mirror down so you can now see with all the natural light without any blocking of the sunlight. This is my eyebrow tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go ahead and give me any suggestions for any future videos that you might like to see me do. I would be so happy to do them for you. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye guys. Do my vocal warm ups to get my jitters out. Why? Let's chill out. Because I really need more caffeine right now. Okay, let's do this shit.